Hello and welcome to the Pro Yaku Report, Volume 1, Episode 37, One Chance. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. As one of my duties for the MLB Scouting Service Scout Dragon, I enter daily the Ichigun Nigun transactions, making note of the reason for the move as well. The purpose for this, of course, is to keep track of the days served at Ichigun in order to maintain the FA tracker, and also to have an idea of what kind of injuries players are getting since that information is not always very easy to come by. Although, Gin does do a very good job of keeping track of these as well. Now, one thing that I notice is that somebody who is called up is almost immediately sent back to Nigun. I'm sitting there basically saying to myself, Hey, wasn't he just called up to Ichigun yesterday? Why is he being sent down already? So I threw together a query that would pull out the players who were called up and sent back down the very next day. And the results were kind of surprising to me on two counts. First of all, only 48 players were sent down the day after they were called up. Now, it sure seems to me that this happens a lot more often than that. But maybe I'm remembering entering them two days ago? Uh, after all, 74 players have been dropped after just two days at Ichigun, and there have been 91 after three days, 113 after four days, and the rate gradually increases thereafter. The second thing that I learned from this was just how many players, pitchers in particular, there were that were perhaps deserving of being sent down after just one look at you know, to adjust their game, as they say. So those players in this accompanying chart will be in yellow. Let's take a look at this table a little more closely. Standing out in red are players who were called up, then injured in their game and sent back down. Lotte's Takumi Kobe fell ill and was scratched from the starting lineup on opening day. Kobe was called up later in April, played part-time up until the end of April, and hasn't been seen at Ichigun since. Both Lotte's Yoshihisa Naruse and Nippon Ham's Masaru Takeda had opening day starts, but both also were knocked out of their games on comebackers. That's a hard way to start a season off. Six players, including Kobe, didn't even make an appearance and are denoted in gray. Twice, Nippon Ham's catcher Satoshi Nakajima was called up, but not used. As a matter of fact, he hasn't even played in a single game at Nigun, so I'm not sure why he was called up at all. The other three players called up and not used were relief pitchers who weren't needed and sent back down. Next up are players in yellow. All of them but SoftBank's Daichi Hoshino are starting pitchers who allowed more runs than innings pitched in their one chance call up. I'm not sure why Nippon Ham called up Tomohisa Otani on April 5th as an outfielder then had him start that day but that appears to be how they filled out the paperwork. Giving up five earned runs in two and a third innings was probably a good reason to send him back down to the farm for the pitching part of their great experiment. In fact, with these results, if this is all the top manager had to go by in evaluating the players who he called up, then it makes perfect sense that the players were immediately sent back to the oven for cooking. But there was another reason that I wanted to look at this one day chance data. I noticed a pattern of calling up a pitcher, having him pitch or start, then send him down for 10 days on the farm before being called up again for his next start. 
essentially putting the pitcher on a 10-day rotation. SoftBank was the biggest user of this method over the past several years. Sorting the data by player name reveals that while a couple of clubs have done this over a couple of starts, only SoftBank appears to have a pattern with this. Shota Oba pitching every other week from June 22nd through July 15th. Nippon Hams allowing two weeks rest between starts for Bobby Keppel was most likely a precaution as he was coming off of an injury at the time they did this. Finally, let's take a look at the pitchers in blue. They all threw at least six innings and allowed one earned run or less. It certainly looks like they proved their worthiness in the single chance that they got. Other than Keppel, they strike me as spot starters getting called up to get the team over a long sequence of games. So their performances were probably not at issue in sending them back down. It was most likely predetermined, no matter how they did. So that could be said for all of the players listed as being sent down due to, quote, no near-term appearances, unquote. Unlike when I looked at this data several years ago, I don't get the impression that teams are abusing the Ichigun Nigun transactions in order to prevent players from reaching free agency in a reasonable amount of time. Now, that really was the impression I had uh, when I presented this data at a Sabre Tokyo meeting a number of years ago. So, with this, I can kind of feel relieved, feel uh, safe to go through and do my daily transaction entry without, you know, such ugly suspicions in the back of my mind. And that is a good thing. And now it's time for the Pocket Calendar. Coming up tomorrow, September 9th, will be the latest edition of the Japan Baseball Weekly Podcast. This week's interviewee is the Nippon Ham Fighters, Bobby Keppel. Also in the discussion will be Japan's top pitcher, Makun, Japan's top batter, Coco Ballantin, and a discussion about top rookies in both leagues. The two also plan on addressing uh, at least one listener question. And as always, I look forward to the show. I'm sure you do too. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaku Report. Let's go out with uh, the... Pacific League Movie YouTube's channel highlights of Tanaka's 20th consecutive victory from the start of the season. And until next week, take care. With the tying run on third base and two down in the top of the ninth inning, Makun strikes out Kinji Sato looking for his 20th consecutive victory since the start of the season. A feat unknown even in the long history of Major League Baseball.